Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury, and today guys, we are on the, we're on live streaming midweek with Archie Luxury, and uh, I got to tell you, man, this is an exciting day indeed. Why is it exciting? Why is it exciting? Well, let me give you the drum. Let me give you the drum. I am actually, last I had problems at home with one of my well my eldest son he was was I just under a lot of pressure was he's suicidal and uh anyhow he's seeking treatment by the way guys we're seeking treatment professional help he's seeing a great psych psychologist and also we're about to see a psychiatrist uh it, it's all very good it's all very good and uh Anyhow, I double booked a hotel. Double booked a hotel. Don't you fucking hate it, man? I fucking hate that shit. And I got to tell you, man, what's happened is, let me tell you what's happened. It's very simple. I have now, I'm going to Singers. And I'm, this is the sort of the last trip I do uh, before. Well, this is the last trip for 2000. Oh, blue shirt, Buddha, two bucks. It's Tuesday night live with the pontiff. Thank you. This is the last trip I do for 2019. So it'll be 2020 before I travel overseas again. My passport expires. My passport expires. Passport expires. Uh, on the 8th. 8th of December, it expires. So I got to be back. I'm coming back Monday. I got to be back before that expires. Otherwise, I won't be allowed back in. Fuck! So, yeah, that's all cool. Uh, I've actually got two passports because if it's so on the edge, Singapore won't let you in. But I've got a British passport. So it is all very, very beautiful. There is no problems at all. There's no problems. Uh, what can I say, guys? What can I say? So anyhow, guys, I'm uh, I'm I'm flying tonight, and uh, guys, I'm I'll be broadcasting on Saturday and sunday no problems at all i need the root loot 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 root root um it's all good so that is what's happening so guys let's let's get these let's get the get the super chats happening i'm having coffee oh it's bitter no more sugar fuck is it bitter I had a little piece. Actually, I had about seven pieces of licorice yesterday. Okay, I don't know. I just, I just going for a bad patch. This diet, it is fucking hard. Let me tell you, man, it is fucking hard. I'm actually walking every day now. I am walking. I mean, it's not fast walking. It's, it's like I take a good half hour to forty-five minute walk. Uh, I'm actually enjoying it mentally. It's also helping me, I must say, because, you know, I talk, talk to myself. I've always been someone who's spoken to myself a lot, I like to internally churn the cogs. And I was talking about, look, talking to myself about relationships, uh, the watch collection, the pad X and the Rolexes and, um, yeah, Yankee doodle. Do you like black licorice? Do I like black licorice? You betcha. My favorite was Dara Lee. In Australia, we've got a brand called Dara Lee. I'll get to you, Thomas Burnett, in one moment. I just want to tell the black licorice. I love licorice. Uh, then we had different brands. There was a New Zealand brand you used to get in a box. It was a sampler. What was it called? All black or something like that. That was expensive but delicious and had different types of cuts of licorice. And then I've really, in recent years, I've become addicted to Dutch licorice. I like the Dutch from the Austin Powers movies. 
And they got double salt, triple salt. They got the cats, the cats, uh, the coin licorice. I love the coin licorice. Fuck. Fuck. Ah, the problem is I can eat the whole lot, man. I can eat the whole lot. I love licorice. I love licorice. I even love red licorice, raspberry licorice. Uh, what other licorice? I love, I love licorice, man. Okay, Thomas Burdett, two pounds. Archie, what do you think of the Jager Lukutra Polaris? Look, I got to be honest with you there. Um, the JLC Polaris, I kind of, I've never really been a big fan of it. Um, let's just call one up just so that we can we can get the audience there. They, they were very, very famous as being an alarm watch. And I've never really, I never really caught on to it. I never, it was never really my, my thing. Okay. It was never really my thing. Um, I mean, look, look, it's, um, it's never been my thing. Okay. But. I mean, I'm very much, I love the Reverso. I am a huge Reverso fan. That's what I love. I love my Reversos. Um, I got my Reverso here. I love my Reversos. That's what I, I do well and truly love. I love the Reverso. So the Polaris, ah, it's never really been my cup of tea. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. But it's not really my sort of style there. Yankee Doodle, two bucks. Once you go black, you never go back. I love, we're talking about the licorice, licorice. Man, I love the licorice. Uh, when I was a kid, I remember Choo Choo Bars. It fucked my teeth up. They had these, these chewy bars called Choo Choo Bars. Uh... I'm trying to remember the New Zealand. Fuck, what was that New Zealand? There was a New Zealand licorice. It was black opal. I think it was black opal licorice. Um, black opal licorice. I'm trying to remember what it was called. Black, black. No, that's that's not the New Zealand. There was a, a New Zealand licorice which I really, really liked. Uh, it was like a sampler box, and it was always fucking expensive, but, you know, a true... A, a Black Knight! Black Knight. I found it, guys. Black Knight. Let me get the... Let's get the screen share happening. Black, Black Knight licorice. Here we go, guys. Black Knight. That is my absolute favorite licorice. They had licorice straps. This is the sampler box. Licorice assortment. There we go. Licorice assortment. It's only small. It's only 250 grand. I could eat three of those boxes in one sitting. And I loved them. The Black Knight. Black Knight. Black Knight licorice. That's exactly Black Knight licorice. Black Knight, that's the one, man. Black Knight. Uh, I, I, I just the assortment. Um, yeah, I, that, that's the boxes I loved it in, man. The Black Knight licorice. Fuck, did I love my licorice? What does it say about it? Uh, it doesn't say much. Um, a great gift for any licorice lover. Confectionery World. Yes, you can buy that from Confectionery World, and I will. Fuck, I'm supposed to be on a diet, fuckers. It's expensive. $5.90 for a pack. See, that's quite expensive. Uh, Nestle, Black Knight, Licorice. What is this happy? Candy time. Yeah, so, uh, guys, I, 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 I do love... I do love my Black Knight Licorice. Yes, yes, I do. Um... I, I love it. I love the licorice. I'm a licorice addict. Oh, my God. Chris in Jersey. $10 for the Pontus three-piece meal deal at the airport. Eat up, big boy. Thank you. Three-piece combo meal deal. Hunger buster. The problem is by the time I get through customs, 
uh, tonight. The fucking chicken place is closed. It's closed. So uh, I am, um, yeah, that's, um, that's a bit sad, that. But, hey, man, thank you. I will definitely pig out in singers. Don't worry about that. TF, £2.29. Thoughts on the new Oris Star Wars, the dark side. The Oris Star Wars. Look, i got to be completely honest with you there. Um, not really my cup of tea. Let's bring that baby up on the screen. Let's bring that baby up. The Oris Star Wars. What do I think, man? I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like black PVD sort of shit. Uh, I got bad memories. Um, yeah, no. Oris has had a number of limited edition things. They never really... They had an Oris... I remember Oris did a whole jazz, jazz collection. They were, they were kind of cool, but... No, not really my cup of tea. Hello, how are you? Are you all right? Why is that? Turn your head. Is everything all right? Yeah, what, why do you say that? I've been hearing videos all week about how the Molex bubbles have burst. Ah, no, no, we're all good, Clivers. I put your video up on my channel. Did you see that? I gave you pride billing, top shelf billing. Yeah, I gained three. I gained five new trolls. Thanks. <laughs> uh, wah, 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 wah. Thomas Burdett. Thomas Burdett. Five pounds. Archie, what do you think of the Glass Hoot original Pano Reserve? Is a decent, cheaper sh substitute for a Lange one? No. No, it's not. It's not. No, sorry. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Clivers, I posted your straps <clears throat> this week. I noticed that. You posted it my Sunday night, your Monday morning. Yeah, fucking expensive, but it's all done. All done. It's all done. I sent it. I sent you copies of it all. I went there. Uh, so <clears throat> I've sent you the Brightling Rubber. You could use that. Thanks. I've sent you the rare AOPA, Airline Pilots Association of America. Oh, nice. By the way, super chat. Uh, and I've also sent you, I've also sent you Paul Val, Val Deluxe, Val Deluxe, Val Jew. Valia? I Valia, think Valia. Five Val bucks. You. Swedes make a pretty mean licorice too. By the way, current day Tona, do you prefer black or the panda? Which one would you go? Which one does go for you? I like both. If you gave me a choice, if I was in the Rolex dealer and they invited Archie and I said, please, Archie, have a Daytona, which one would I pick? Panda, panda, panda. I love, I love the, you'd have to go panda, man. So if you had a choice, you'd have to go panda. Sorry. I'm sorry. You'd have to go panda. Would you go panda, Clive? No, I'd go black. Okay. The black is cool. Nothing wrong with the black. Nothing There's wrong nothing with the wrong black. With any of them, especially in steel. I mean, hell. I, I don't mind them in two tone. I loved my two tone. To be honest with you, I really miss that one. Oh, is that the one, the, the one, the Maserati dial? Yes. You know what, Clive? I actually went for a walk yesterday because I'm actually starting to do. Actually, let me let me have a way in. You want me to have a way in? I'll tell you how it's gone because I have a little bit of. For free? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Not, Thank you. Five bucks, and I will weigh myself Five down. bucks? Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Five, ten bucks? No. I think it should be ten bucks for you to have a drink. <laughs> uh, look, I tell you what. Clive, we could do that. Whatever the punters, we can have a drink. I don't mind yeah. that. Now, I got to tell you the truth. Sabotage Archie's weight loss progress. Yes. Super chat ten dollars for him to take a drink. <laughs> and five bucks I'll weigh in now. No, I've been doing walks. No, no. What? No. Five bucks. Ten bucks. I'd say twenty. Uh, you don't want to push it, Clive. We don't want to be too nasty here, you know. Nasty. Clive, is, let me tell you this. I've been going for walks, and you know something? I've worked out myself. 
Um, you like Lady Boys better pre-op? No, let me tell you this. I realized something, Clive. I'm a fucking idiot. You know, when I had the most perfect collection in recent times, listen to this. When, when I had the brand? World Time, Jega Lacoutre, Zenith El Primero, Bluesy Sub, Maserati Blue Daytona, Explorer 2, and I had 39 mil Explorer 1, Air King 40 mil, and Mill Gauss. That nine piece combo deal was amazing. Especially at Maserati Blue Dial, that Daytona, that two tone. I had a V serial number, V serial number Bluesy, and a V serial number Mill Gauss. Both. I don't know why I did what I did. That was, I mean, I had everything covered. They, I had chronographs. I had divers. What was I thinking? You probably weren't. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying to you or not? Yes. Yes, I do. But you I know, don't uh, know you why. Know, I, I basically ended up buying five watches that, really look the same you know super you know chat. that super yep. chat thomas burdett two pounds archie 50 fathoms or baffia scope my advice to you rolex submarina rolex submarina the blank pain i respect blank pain but come on man they were never that prestigious in the day they use value movements they they weren't that wonderful. I've been watching Mr. Wonderful. You know Kevin O'Leary? Yes, I've heard, yes. He actually said that he's not leaving his kids anything. He's paying for their, their education. Then you're on your own. Well, just the fact that he's paying for their education is going to give them one hell of a leg up. So... But, you know, the uh, Carnegie's did the same thing, and a lot of the Carnegie's, um, yeah, it didn't quite work out. Charles Bronson, three bucks. Where the fuck is Marky Mark? Marky Mark, the Australia's greatest punter. Look, he, he's taking a little bit of time out. Things haven't gone so well. Uh, lovely guy. I'm helping him restructure his life. Oh, Jesus Christ. And, uh, yeah, here we go. TF, who the hell is Cliver? Cliver is my sidekick. He's the man oh. I love more than anyone else besides the sucker horn. He's the two I see. He's the recruiter. He's... He's the one. ST3, five bucks. Archie, I've sent you money by PayPal and an email, but you haven't added me to the app WhatsApp group. I'm going through my guys just out of interest. I've got about a 14-day delay. I'm actually going through all the payments that have come in. And as long as you've sent the money... I'll be adding you. So just calm, calm down. I'm actually doing it. That's one of the jobs I hope to do before I leave for singers today is print out the sheets and um, make sure I've got Christmas cards that are going to be sent out in the first week of December for people who've paid for them. Um, it's all going good. Clivers, I've sent you your stuff. I think you'll like it. There's a bit of goodies in there. Wear it in good health, Clive. Also, $2 Super Chat. $2 Super Chat. We love it. And this is Cheval Draw, $2. Cheval Draw, $2. First Omega in space or Tag, Hoya, or Tavia Heritage? No question. Get the first Omega in space. I love the... $5 Super Chat. Stop, watch, and roll. Okay, I do love the Otavias, but 
first Amiga in space. That is actually my favorite speedy at the moment. Slightly smaller. I love the hands. Absolutely, the Delphine hand. Just fucking pull the trigger. Stop, watch, and roll. Five bucks. Arch, one chrono to add to a collection with Rolex already used. Stainless Daytona or Stainless VC Thoughts. I got to tell you, seriously, that's a decision I actually had to make because I had the Maserati Blue. Okay, it was two-tone, but I was offered a swap for a Vacheron Overseas Chronograph with the two-digit date at 12. That's the previous gen, second gen, actually. You know what? Stick with the Daytona. The VC is not fucking going anywhere they are they are a great watch you'd agree clive you've got a vc they're an amazing watch but they are they are a little bit on the soft side okay so personally i like the three handers more than the chronographs and anymore. and your question there the stainless daytona is should be double what a second hand vc chrono goes for double it's double okay because i was offered a swap for a two-tone two-tone daytona for a vc chrono so whoever's if if you don't realize there's a price difference you that just proves my point even further blue shirt buddha two dollars clive rules hashtag free ui i haven't heard from ui i really hope he's okay yankee doodle five bucks jeffrey epstein had a recruit recruiter in Ghislaine maxwell you have a recruiter in Clivers. Yes, indeed. Indeed. That's right. That was uh, Robert Maxwell's daughter. Robert Maxwell. The uh, He was the British billionaire slash brokers pocus who disappeared off the back of a yacht. Yes, he disappeared. Uh, TF, £2.29. Speedy Apollo 11 50th anniversary in steel thoughts. Look, I got to be honest with you. Amiga does so many fucking special editions. They kind of soft. I am not a big fan of any of them. There's the Snoopies, the, the, the Alaska pro. There's so many fucking things they do. Uh, no, none of these limited editions really work out so well. In fact, the non-limited editions end up doing better. So that's, I wouldn't be yeah, clamoring. I, I couldn't afford to get a limited edition. I just had to get a plain one. Exactly. Speaking of which there, guys, come on, guys. Five bucks away in now. Come on, give me a chance. Give me $10. a chance. Five bucks. Ten dollars. Mark will take a drink and, and jeopardize and derail his weight loss program. I got to tell you, Clive. <clears throat> now, oh, I'm it's, I'm hopefully going to get the uh, strap from Combat Straps tomorrow. Beautiful. What did you get? What did you pick? Oh, let's see. Embossed vintage leather with patina stitching and on a deployant. Do you take a standard size strap or slightly bigger? Well, I've got a seven and a half inch wrist, so a little bit slightly bigger. Okay. I can't fit into a standard one, but I'm within the last, like the second from the last hole, generally. Okay. Sick. Oh, I hate that. I'm the same. I'm fucking last hole or second from the last. I hate that. I hate that. Mm. Fuck, yeah. I hate that, Clive. Daniel Katz, $2.79. Clive's rendition of Drowning, very, very Disney-ish. Interesting. Very, very Disney-ish. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, look, GS has made a promise. I'll donate 50,000 if you lose 150 pounds within one year from today. 150 pounds is pushing it. I don't need to lose that much. Maybe 150 kilograms. You think he meant 150 kilograms? Uh, 150 pounds is less than kilograms. Oh. That's about 30. That's about 30. That's about 50 kilos. But I don't need to lose that much. That's fucking anorexic. Okay. Stop, watch, and roll. $2. Happy holidays to you both. Thank you. Yankee Doodle. 
is 36 mil day date 80s luxury outdated classic no no I, I reckon the 40 is the perfect size but the 36 mil my dad wants a 36 mil that's what he wants 36 mil okay he doesn't want um he doesn't want the big monsters big monsters um, you on the other so, end, we can handle the big monsters. Yeah, look, I, 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 I think you can get away. I, I actually do like thirty-six mil. The funny thing is, the proportions on a smaller watch are actually nicer. When they get bigger, they don't. That's why ladies' watches. I'm so sexually attracted to ladies' watches because the proportions are beautiful. My cunt, my cunt, two pounds. Toe update for the viewers, Pontiff. Actually, oh, you okay. They are okay. They are okay. They're okay. The two toes are okay. I've stopped picking at them. I'll be honest with you. I continually scratch and do things. I've got sores on my legs from seven years ago, which have never healed because I keep scratching them. Okay. It could be diabetes. I don't. No, it's not diabetes. I don't even drink. I'm not taking sugar anymore. Besides that licorice yesterday, I haven't had sugar. That's like okay. saying, that's like saying, well, I had lung cancer, so I'll quit smoking, so it'll go away. Victor, two dollars. What's the life plan after YouTube? What's the life plan after YouTube? Victor, 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 Victor. Uh, um after youtube what <laughs> this is it this is it victor this is my life this is it this is it look you always with youtube and that there they you could you could always any of these things can end tomorrow um look i still need money to come in i'd have Fuck, what would I do without the YouTube? Fuck. That is a very good question. I'd probably, look, I'd tell you the truth. Uh, fuck, what would I do? I don't, I have no plans. Shit, Victor. What would I do? Fuck, man, that's pretty nasty. What would I do? Fuck, I have no idea, Clive. Now you're making me fiddle with my toes and pretend I'm not. So, guys, if you have life plans for Archie, please super chat five dollars. I please. gotta tell you, Clive, it's um, I I don't I've never really thought that far. I don't think far further than the next meal, Clive. Victor says you can move in with him. Mm. I got to be honest with you. I've, uh, I'm not going to be traveling much next year. Well, at least that's what I say. I have, I'll, I'll see how I go, Clive. I'm trying to reduce some of the. Porn. I've nearly paid back Stephen Brooks, and I've, I've I've made a payment to the guy on the the paddock. But you are right, Clive. I ended up with five watches the same. Yeah, we we kind of yeah we uh, we kind of noticed that. And even when I got rid of the three Rolex for the second paddock, maybe that was a beautiful collection. Two paddocks. Reverso, Zenith, Daytona. I had some really nice pieces. You know, looking back, I also kind of liked your IWC Ingenieur. Oh, that was a magic watch. That was a really cool watch. And uh, I missed the Breguet. The Breguet. I missed the Breguet. Now, uh, Yankee Doodle just super chat $5. Yes, here we go, Yankee Doodle. 
Arch, with all due respect, your channel was a lot more authentic and enjoyable when you first started. Too much filler, big boy. Yep, but it's all about the advertising. You've got to remember that, man. That's how I pay the bills. I need sponsorships to keep me going. Otherwise, I'll sink. Now, Clivers, tell me this. Um, you were very happy with the Breitling you bought, aren't you? You don't regret that? No. I said to you, get it. Didn't I encourage you? I said, Clive, just get it, get it, get it. Bear Clooney's got one now. I think, no, I think it was Tanzil that really encouraged me to get one. You, What do you think of it? Now that you've got it, is it amazing or... What's Stop, also amazing watch, is, and yeah. roll five bucks, Clive. What's the over under on the Arch Christmas liquidation sale? Well, the trouble is, I'm not a psychologist, so I can't logically predict crazy. Mm. You have fucked crazy, but. You no, have no. Totally. I, I haven't fucked anything other than crazy. And we got Vic, Victor. Hey, Victor, how are you, man? No, I'm good. Cla Victor, I want to say a very special thank you. Uh oh, look at that. <laughs> that book is fucking amazing. You know that? Oh, I'm yeah, I'm telling you, that is, me dead. Is that tells totally you. Better than every book I've ever seen. But this is the dealer book, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's not for... It's not for regular people. It's going to be worth some good money, too. Uh, it's not about that. I, I'm not selling. It's not for sale. But the the amazing thing about this book is it tells you all the selling, key selling points. I look up 3196. Oh, the, it tells you straps, what straps it is, what it tapers down to. It tells you absolutely yeah. everything, the movement. I, this is amazing. Yeah, I, I and it's all in tabs. Here, let me. Uh, yeah, me I I gotta say, man, thank you so much. I've got the same. Yeah, you don't, I, you don't have old ones by any chance. I would love one from the early two thousand. No, I don't. The only I have that, and I have the uh, the strap book too. Yeah, the strap book probably doesn't interest me as. Yeah, but I don't have an extra of that. I just had an extra of this one, so I sent it. Yeah, no, no, no. Hey, man, man, I, I, I appreciate it, man. I, I, I totally, I just want to say thank you, man. I, It turned up, and the only problem is with this year, 2019, they killed quite a lot of the Calatravas. Yeah. It's as if they knew you were coming. What are you saying? If, if you think Victor should now jet, and ghost victor type one what the, what is that uh, i don't know what you're talking about what's what's you got a mutiny calm down punters well no that's gotta, five starting gotta, though i gotta tell you victor man that's a fucking amazing book. oh you know i got the madani books didn't you yeah i saw that i i don't know if they were really worth it to be completely honest yeah, with you expensive. i mean they're very handy if someone gives you a reference, you can look it up and see what that reference is, right? Like, yeah. you know, like a fake, if you see a fake one and it's a certain four digit reference, you can look at the book and see, yes, it existed or not. Oh, wow. You, you, know, you know what I mean? That's, that's where it's handy. But to be honest with you, it didn't really go into enough detail on the Calatravas I've got. I was, a, look, it's, it's probably worth it as a reference point. The, the, yeah. The, oh, the yeah. It's the like Mandani. The Mandani. It's good for it's good for older vintage watches. Absolutely. But you're not a vintage collector for the most part. It's like well, eh, it's good for knowledge. But but a lot of my no no. Hang on, my Pateks it, are vintage, aren't they? Uh, What's the five no, three five? I, that, that, that's like two versions I, ago. I wouldn't call your Pateks vintage. It's but they're not current model. A lot of them aren't current. Oh, yeah, no, they're not current, but still, they're not vintage. I think vintage is pre-1990. You know what they said? I don't know if you saw. There's a very interesting – they were interviewing a guy on Houdinki. I think he's Goldberger, and Goldberger, he's a very oh, wah, famous – uh, Wait, who? Goldberger? I don't know who that is. 
He's a huge collector, he, super no, collector. No, no, no. He, he was a James Bond villain, I think. Clive, if you leave this stream, I swear to God. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I swear to God. But I, <laughs> rad. But anyhow, he said that paddocks, paddocks were very rare until about 1983. He says everything pre-83 He's talking about super, super collectible paddocks, but I mean, I'm not in that league. 83 is, is when they started to uh, ramp up production. I don't know that. Yeah, that's what yeah. he's sort of saying. I don't know. I mean, I think, look, he collects fucking perpetual calendar chronographs. I could never even afford one of those, you know? That's, yeah, but you, no, you could afford it. If you sold all your watches, you could get a 5270G, which is what I think you should do. Just have one watch, wear it in your sleep, run in it. Do everything in it. Fuck life. You only live once. 5270G. I'll yep. look it up in my book here. Yeah, because they have the 5270P current production. The G is the, uh, it's not current. The P is current, though. Are you talking about the book that I have? I'll tell you what page number it's on, even. It's under <laughs> grand complications. Yep. Well, you know, actually, it's, it's kind of the same way, though, because, you know, my little vintage semi bubble back? Yeah. Yes, that's got a serial number and like the three hundred thousands, and that wasn't three hundred thousand for that year. Three hundred thousand since they started counting. Fuck. Oh, yeah. That's the look at page twenty-five. That's what you need to get. Page twenty-five in our book. The same. It's oh, the I same can't book. afford that. That's expensive. No, you you can afford it in the G if you sold all your watches and bought it. Super Chat by Thomas Burnett. Arch, what's your thoughts on the Chanel J12? That's the ceramic ladies' watch. For Forget it. it. I, I yeah. hate Chanel. For women, it's great because it's, uh, it's quartz and it's ceramic. You can't scratch it. Uh, My mom has one. It's, uh, she likes it. It's a fashion it's watch. Not, it's not it's expensive. A fashion watch. You get them pre-owned for like two, three grand without the diamonds. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're you right. Can, if you guys are looking for a watch for your wife and she doesn't care about watches, she probably thinks it's a lot more expensive than two, three grand. And they look, and it's a good, like, woman's watch. Car, Car fun. fun, five bucks. Vic, what is the new Patek retail experience like? Do they serve champagne, etc.? Well, I'll tell you, my where I get Paddocks is at my AD. They have a small little, you know, Paddock corner. They got a VIP booth. Yeah, it's like a little paddock area. So, but they sell everything there. But I know them. It's a little, you know, I suppose when I walk into other paddock boutiques in other places, yeah, it's very nice. They do serve champagne. I don't drink, but they do offer it. Um, it's nice. But I, I don't care about all that experience stuff. I, I would rather. It's all about the deal, you know. Some people pay for that. I don't think it's worth it. Um, it's, it's overrated. I would think. That whole re AD experience. The only thing that's good about the AD is these days you can get watches cheaper there than on the secondary market. Not a watch. Here we go. Watch and pray. Two bucks. Will he's talking paddock? The paddock six thousand RB respected long term Vic and Arch. Look, this is a classic Calatrava with the two four zero micro rotor movement. 37 mil, it's a nice size. I think the Chinese, when they wake up and pull their head out of buying stupid steel sports Rolex, that watch has got huge upside. I think it will be going for about fifty to $60,000 once the Chinese, the Chows, uh, go oh. into paddocks. Uh, I a $10 Stan Radke. The Minotaur has landed Clivers. So basically, he's super chatting me to uh, leave the uh, leave the live stream. No, 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 Clive. No, Clive, no. as you stay here. By the way, Clive, There's you need to cover of, me because we, a lot of back we're going to have a weigh in. I'm going to go and weigh myself outside now. This is we've had some good donations. Daniel Katz, two dollars seventy nine. Victor, look up Goldberger interview on Hoodinky. Yeah, that um, that was when he was talking about that. I'm going to go and have a weigh in. One moment. Oh, no. Well, you have just noticed. On the live, on the, I went to the. Can you see? I made a little display with some watches and some pens. So, oh yeah. So what I was saying was, uh, you guys don't see what goes on with Clive and me. He'll, 
yo, reel me in for these screens. He's like, get on, get on, get on. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. And he's like, okay, I'll get on if you get on. And then I get on. And then he gets, and he'll get off. And then he leaves me hanging. And the whole idea is I don't mind doing it if, if Clive is, if it's not just one on one Arch and I. No, yo. actually, I think you got it wrong. I think, I think you get on, then Mark gets off. Mm, yeah, but I, I'm, I, I mean, I, I can, I mean, Mark and I don't have, I don't have point four kilos, Clive, hundred and thirty four point, hundred and thirty three point four. Fuck. What is that kilogram? How much is that in pounds? Someone wanna? Fuck. You know that's annoying, Clive. You know that. How many kilograms? Hundred and thirty three point four. So hundred and thirty three kilograms in pounds is Woo wee. You are just under the three hundred mark. That's that's all right though. Three hundred is where you're considered fat, so you're not fat. No. Look, I gotta tell you, I fucking put on three hundred grams. I haven't taken a dump yet, okay? I should be weighing myself post dump, shouldn't I, Clive? Nah, you should be weighing yourself first thing in the morning, actually. Uh, oh, we yeah, have wait, 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 what time is it in Australia? Quarter to 11. So for Archie, this is first thing in the morning. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> oh boom, boom. Yeah. I got to tell you, Clay, yeah. how is the weight loss for you going? It's hard, man. It's fucking. I want to weigh myself before I, I go four to. four pounds. Sorry? I lost four pounds already. But you're fucking skinny. Who cares? No, I, I used to be skinny. I gained 40 pounds this year. 40, which is like... Watch and pray two bucks. Will PP issue new Tiffany Dials first LVMH buy? Good question. Has LVMH, they haven't bought Paddock? No, they bought Tiffany, though. LVMH bought Tiffany for 60 Are you going to read the ones before that? Oh, yeah. Oops, 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 oops. Oh, here we go there. Here we go there. Here we go. Uh, we did. Woody, Yankee Doodle, five bucks. I was going, I I like going to watch dealers for free drinks, hotel reception desks for free apples, and car dealerships for free cappuccinos. 100% right. By the way, guys, I've launched a new series. Yeah, that's, that's the video, Victor. That's the one. All right. I'll you know, you know the new series I've launched actually on my channel. Three guys talking cars, where me and and some 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 a, a guy I know, uh, we go looking at cars, luxury cars. That's Archie, cool. I don't want to be obvious, but that's two guys. Uh, and his brother, and his brother, and his brother. So it's it's actually fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, we've it's kind of come five, to air in the next next five couple of days. Five dollar super hit by CB. CB Archie Paddock five seven two six. That's a that is a Nautilus. That is the annual wow. calendar. It's a hard decision. Sorry, that's a hard decision, but I know what or I. Or the fifty seven twelve. I tell you honestly, I'd go fifty seven twenty six any day of the week. It's an annual calendar. It is a better. It's a better complication. Five dollar super chat by Bud the Stud. But the stud. But the stud. Here we go. Just very quickly. Watch and pray. Two dollars. Will Paddock issue new Tiffany dials post LVMH buy? I don't think the agreement will change at all. I honestly don't think it'll change at all. So uh, it doesn't matter. Perpetual. Five bucks. How is Joma Shop able to sell Amiga Speedmaster Planet Ocean GMT at 80, 48% off list? That's because they buy it from grade dealers. And they are fucking hard to move. Very hard to move. Five, but dollars, start, five, five bucks. bucks. Fist for the lads. Yankee, Dan, Buddha, Rich, Vic, Clive, and Angie, Zed, Chip Wong, Robin C, and Archie. Happy Turkey Day to all health. Thank you so, so much. Okay. okay. Please resubmit that super chat and put me in front of Vic. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Resubmit it and put Clive at the very end after. Uh, I tell you. After you know, my car fund. Arch, will you bring back the MRBS series for 2000? Mr. Bullshit series. Look, it didn't really. 
I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. I've still got to do the Samantha and bit. I've got quite a few projects I've got to do. Thomas Burdett, two pounds. Show us the 5320 in your book. It rocks. Here we go, right there. How much How much for Archie to dress up as uh, Captain Shitter for the rest of the live stream? I've got to, well, actually, I'm going to do that next year. We're going to do that next year. i got to restart that beard, by the way, when I come back. I want to restart that beard. Yeah, but I think I think the punters might want a super chat for you to do a sneak preview of Captain Shitter. i got to find the costume, Clive. But, guys, we're going to be wrapping this show up soon. I want to say thank you for coming on. One of my good friends said that you and, and Rich have been sabotaging my live shows by doing free shows on your channels guys pre-shows no we're warming them up what are you talking about okay 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 jackson laser jackson laser is zodiac and alpina crap or great entry point absolute crap absolute garbage stay away from that garbage the the minimum watch to go these days guys is tudor black bay that is what do you think what what is the minimum clive what is the minimum watch that's respectable uh maybe tso you reckon i'm with, I'm with you arch uh, i i think i think is, 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 is entry level swiss but i think if you want to be a serious collector tudor black bay what do you think do you agree I agree, Tudor. I, I think entry level Swiss Tissot or Oris would be entry level. That's yeah, but when you I don't think they're respectable. They're not acceptable. If you Omega want to Omega Speedmaster. Omega Seamaster, I think is okay. Speedmaster, no. speed, speed, speed. I think speed. the Seamaster is better. Okay too. Even better. I think, yeah, the Speedmaster's better because it's a manual and, and so on. Well, but. The Speedmaster over the Seamaster. I'm not saying the Seamaster is not a good watch. It's just they, they have fucked with it so much over the years. Well, there's so many. Oh, offer two dollars super chat by Dan Radke. Type GMT two Coke one or Explorer two forty two mil two for Turkey Day. For Turkey Day. Oh, I'd go GMT. GMT. Okay. Yeah, GMT. Yeah, I'm to wear the the vintage stuff. Here we go. CB five bucks. Archie Paddock fifty seven twenty six or Royal Oak. Ooh. Perpetual calendar. I gotta be honest with you. I'd probably go Royal Oak. It's cheaper, isn't it? No, not well, necessarily. It depends on which perpetual calendar. They have them in ceramic, they have them in steel, they have them in uh they have an open work perpetual calendar now. They have the ultra thin, which is what I'm going for. That's my next big purchase i'm hoping no the one that won all the gphg uh, fuck it. go for the paddock you always get your money back the problem with the ap is exorbitant service costs yeah but listen that watch your calendar is so that's a five thousand dollar service you know oh, that by the way, by the way right, watch that i'm going for yes, it clive clive yes real quick you know how you know you're talking about patek and pussy yes well bear clooney has issued a, a, a counter challenge to you Yes, what's that? BB, Breitling and Boobies. Ooh, I, I love team. breasts. I do love breasts. You know what I don't understand is why is it when, you, when the, you're dating a woman, she doesn't mind you touching the breasts, right? As yeah. soon as you move in or you're in a relationship, suddenly they don't enjoy it. Can you please explain that to me? I think that's... Clive, I'm going to file suit. That's misrepresentation, okay? I think it's lying. Well, no, okay. it, no, because they're doing that to draw you in. Archie, you know what that's called, right? That's yeah, entrapment. Called a, that's called a booby trap. <laughs> <laughs> but to start, $2, Thomas Burdett, to you as well across the pond. Thank you. Thank you so much there. Um, I gotta be honest with you. Cartier, um, I gotta on. be honest with you. Chip Women, Super it's chat. a very difficult thing, you know. Seriously, it's Super. Chip Wong, five bucks with local homeless shelter <laughs> going for his free Thanksgiving dinner. By the way, fuck Craig Ship and hello to Chip Wong's boyfriend. Thank you.
I got to be honest with you. Um, it's uh, it's nearly we're nearly wrapping up, guys. We're nearly wrapping up, and uh, um, I want to say thanks for coming on today. Thanks for coming on. Um, I'll be I'll be broadcasting Friday night American time and Saturday night American time. Arch, when are you doing the 48-hour uh, chat? I'm, I'm thinking about it. I don't know if it's that healthy to do that sort it's of not, shit. There's nothing healthy about it, but it's going to pay. It's gonna, yeah, it's I gonna don't. I, I, in your it's not that unhealthy. What's wrong with it? It's yeah, tired. I don't know. You might make $1,000 in two days. You'll probably make more than $1,000 in two days. Probably way more than that. Okay, would, would you just talked me into it, Vic. That's it. That's it, I'm, Vic. Thousand dollars. It's going to be more than that. I bet you. I bet you. You make somewhere between one and three. Because what people, day would you recommend I do this? I think you should do it twenty third and twenty fourth, Christmas Eve, because people aren't working, so they'll be channeling. They'll be coming in all times of the day to see you suffer, and they'll. The more you're suffering, the more they give you money. Ah, I see. That's 23rd, very twenty fourth. I'll put in. You know, once the forty eight hours is done. You make it all 48 i'll put in 150 bucks yeah let me think about it i i, I kind of i gotta be honest with you man it's um yeah let me let me think about it hey, victor, yeah victor i was thinking about you know my yellow gold 5196 yeah i was thinking about getting a different colored strap for it would you go brown uh brown is yeah brown goes with it uh what do you have now the extra long black yeah, actually, I pinched it off the five two nine six. It's not actually for it. I just pinched it. Hey, Doc, how are you? I'm good, Pontiff. How are you? How's it going? Hey, Vic? we're What's nearly up, wrapping up, so this is perfect timing for you to come in there, Doc. I'm uh, I gained three hundred grams since last weigh in. Fuck, three. I I've, I've I've been a little bit naughty. I, I look. I think the thing is, when you do have a breach, don't completely give up and say, that's it, it's over. I think you've got to keep just saying, okay, you had a little bit of a fall, a little bit of a slip, but keep doing a lot of the healthy things you're doing. Well, I've you started... know, also, it's much easier to lose the weight initially than it is to lose it, you know, with more time. You know, there's more effort required as you go. Okay. I must say this, Doc uh here we go here we go Ooh, hey you got a big super chat we've got a big super chat yankee doodle 25 dollars. have a burger on me in singapore it's duck it's duck that's it's what a, i'm having is duck a turkey burger a duck actually duck well, by the way in singapore eyes are often confused with use okay I I don't, I don't know what that means, but he, I mean, he went to university. There, He's got a college degree. Come on, I, I, I I've been to Oxley having... State High. It's I'm an attorney thing. Having dick. That's what I'm saying. Okie dokie. Oh, you know what? Somebody said 18 hours, so maybe, maybe Arch, maybe you do 24 hours. Maybe, maybe not 48. You do. Yeah. Look, let me, let me, let me see. I got a, I got, a, I got a few different things on the agenda there. Um, Making I got to say there. Part? China's banks are on the verge of collapse. Do you believe that, guys? Tell me, Vic. Banks? Nope. They'll get bailed out. They'll get bailed out. Doc, do you think China's about to implode? I'll believe it when I see it. Okay. Okay. And by no the way, uh, 300 grams, isn't that like about half a pound? Yeah. 300 yes, pounds. Yeah, that's, that's correct. The, that's the weight of a platona. Well, platona. yeah, that that's also within the error of the scale that's measuring it. Probably, yeah. Plus, that's you true. drink water and it changes. You can't, yeah, you can't look at it like that. You have so, a glass of water, you're going to gain 300. Essentially, grams. what you're saying is that you're the same weight. That's my point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, which at least I'm not putting it on. I must say that, okay? Exactly. 300 grams is like, oh, you're the same weight. Or you should take you should take the stuff out of your pocket or take the Patek off before you get on the scale. Ah, fuck. I had my watch on. That'd only be 100 grams, wouldn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Good point. 
That Depends on if you were all five when you're going uh, jumping on the scale. Good point. That's very good. Anyways, not not so much to worry about. Yeah. Enjoy your holiday. Well, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 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 looking forward to it. I can tell you that now. This is probably the last trip I do for a while. That's what everybody says until somebody says, "Hey, I got some LSD for you," and then next thing you know. <laughs> Another trip. Another, Another trip. trip there. Just Clive one is more. back. One more. Clive, is any good? Was that a good punter or what happened, Clive? Is? Uh, by the way, okay, you're talking about the weight loss, right? Yes, 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 yes. Now, do you think that's actual weight loss or you think that's just hair loss? Ha uh ha. -huh. I don't know, Clive. It's just depressing. You know, that's so fucking hard. You know how bland coffee is without sugar? You mean the way real men drink it? Yes. No, I, that's why I drink my coffee. The, the trick is, here's the thought, get good coffee. It helps. It's not as bitter. It's a little more expensive, though. Yeah. Mm. He's got five protects. That's true. Mm. There went his coffee money. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say that. Which paddock is going? Do you think I should get rid of one? Absolutely. I think you have <laughs> two to get rid of. Why do you say that, man? Because you have three Calatravas. You only need one. Exactly. And they they look so much alike. Just keep the one you like the most. Yeah. Okay. That's forty grand for you to play with and buy something real cool. Like curtains. <laughs> mm. Maybe, yeah. You know, maybe you could get, uh, maybe you could get your youngest son curtains, so he won't have to go to therapy. It's too mm. late. For that. Clive, it's too late for that. No, that's true, probably. So, Clive, are you still wearing the navy? Oh yes, I am. Oh, two dollars. Blue shirt Buddha, happy Thanksgiving to all the punters here in America. America. Now, yeah, actually, hopefully, I'm hopefully the uh, the combat strap from Aaron will come in tomorrow. Wowzers. You'd like to keep your original Breitling strap pristine and not wear it, or how do you feel about that? Well, here's the funny part. Now, Bear and I have been having an extensive fill. Oh, wait, there's another super chat. Here we go. We got um, Ray Pew. Ray Pew, two bucks. Arch, will you buy a real paddock? Oh, no, I can, oh like he sounds I like he's saying a 5170 is the real deal. Girly. I can only afford girly paddocks. Sorry. So I'm not going to for money. If you have five, then it's about quality, not quantity. Thomas Burdett, Sella Calatrava, good advice. Two pounds. Sell two yeah. and get a five one seven zero. They're a great watch, the five one. So I've always loved it. I've well, loved get a, it. Get a five nine six zero. If you sell two Calatravas, you can pull that off too. Ah, uh, I can't. They're not worth that much. They're fucking soft. Okay, let's not yeah. fool each other. Come on, man. No, you'll make around 35 to 40 US. Mm. I think you could squeeze, squeeze into, you know, an economical 5170. You know. That's a great watch, the 5170. The five I'm not a Patek guy, but I'll take that. Would you rather have a 5170 or a 5960? Because one has an annual and a chronograph. I know. I, I, can't, I just like the, the concept of the manual wine paddocks. They've always been very cool. Yeah, absolutely. And the 5170 just looks... It looks good. It looks nice. It's clean. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, it just looks nice. The 5070 is the hot one. People love that. That's but That's it. It's not, that the, not the right size. It's not the it right is a bit, size. Yeah, it is. It is big. It is big. I, I agree. No, but Archie, do you want the one that everyone else wants, or do you want to go your own own way? Do you want to yeah, follow your own I horn? I don't think I can afford either. Either is expensive, very. I think you can. Rape you. 
is this the precursor to borrowers buyer's remorse for sins committed in buying crappy Patex? Oh, he is just shitting on your watch. <laughs> no, no, I, I had the same thoughts. Doc, you know something? I went for a walk. I'm doing exercise every day now. Okay? He will. He will. <laughs> Doc, the yeah. thing is, I realized I had the most beautiful watch collection. Before. How many Rolexes at that moment? I had nine. Uh, had, what? Thomas, Thomas Burnett, Super Chat. Six, six Rolexes. I loved it. Thomas Burnett, two pounds. Sell off Pat Calatrava and get back into now, here, Rolex. Here's the, here's the trouble. For what Archie got out of those Rolex for, right now he won't be able to get back into them more. He'll be more in debt trying to get back the same Rolexes he sold. Yeah. I think you got to just think about getting something new, getting something different. Yeah. What about your one watch per brand? That was the right way. To do. <laughs> yeah. Is Trump watching Chinese banks implode? <laughs> let's, let's see what happens. I mean, you know, they were trying to come off of the, uh, the petrodollar and get into their own thing. So maybe this is a reaction to that move. Oh, hey, has anyone noticed Chip Boy? What, where's Chip Wong's boyfriend? I think that was just like a fake account for a day. Oh, okay. Anyhow, guys, I'm going to shoot off now. Super I'm going to get chat. a uh, super chat. Yeah. But to start, Archie wears Casio because he sold his rock. That's exactly it. And I'm starting to realize it was stupid to have six watches on leather straps. Oh, you know that you know that Maserati Dal Daytona. You realize yes. Paul Thorpe specifically identified I, that. I, I I know he's that is. He's and it was a, rare, and he said that was going to go up in value. Yeah, I was an I, idiot. Okay, I, I cannot I sit in a watch idiot. long enough for it. He to said he said if you bought one of those watches, if you hold on to it just for a little bit, it will make you money. It will be a printing press. Hundred percent. Car fun. Thought on China moving banks from Hong Kong to Singapore. That's the way to go. I love singers. You know, you know, Singapore in their jails, they still have caning. Did you know that? No way, really. It's one of the few countries which has caning in prisons. Except for uh, there, it's sort of a fetish, isn't it? How much extra would you have to pay for that, Archie? I don't know. I think if you just misbehave. Is it true that you can't chew gum or spit it out? No, of that's not quite true. But there is fines for littering. Male caning is widely used form of corporal punishment in Sing Singapore. It can div be divided into several judicial, prison, reformatory, military, school, and domestic. Of the judicial canings, the most severe is reserved for male convicts under the age of 50 for a ra wide range of offenses under the criminal procure procedure code and is also used as a disciplinary measure in prisons. Caning is also a legal form of punishment for delinquent servicemen in the Singapore Armed Forces and is conducted by the SAF Singapore Armed Forces Detention Barracks. Caning is also used as a official punishment in reform schools. Fuck me, Dan. They're cunts. Absolute fucking cunts. <clears throat> Are you going to singers? Yes. The return cane should not exceed 1.27... Are you? Why are you so worried about this? Are you doing something I'm wrong in Singapore? I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. Is do, is caning, come up? you guys don't have caning in America, do you, Clive? Uh, no. So, guys, you heard it here. Archie is calling Singaporeans cunts. Ooh, the right, Singaporean just, government cunts. <laughs> no, let's just pack the truck up. So if, you know guys, anyone, if you know any government officials in Singapore... Ooh. So the S and Sing the S and S and M is Singapore then, huh? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! I tell you what, it's you. You don't realize this. Um, I think it'd be funny you get off the plane. There's a bunch of guys holding sticks, waiting for you. <laughs> 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 the prison officers who administer caning are carefully selected and specially trained for the job. They are generally physically fit and robustly built. Some hold quite high grades in martial arts, even proficiency in martial arts, is, although it's not required for the job. They are trained to use their entire weight, body weight, as the power 
behind every stroke instead of using only the strength of their arms, as well as to induce as much pain as possible. They can swing a cane at up to 199 miles per hour and produce a force impact of at least 90 kilos, 200 pounds. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Luxury, can you yeah. step aside? You get off the please, plane, there'll be three guys with sticks surrounding you. You'll feel like a pinata. <laughs> Mr. Luxury, we need you to step aside. And instead of candy falling out, watches will fall out. Yes. <laughs> That's what I was about to yeah, ask. Yeah, watches. <laughs> Now these canes are still they're, they're still they're still wood. They're still natural cane. They're not metal, right? Mm. Yeah, I, I, that would kill you if they were metal. At yeah, you, you, no cheating, right? Exactly. I mean, it's how amazing. much how much damage can be done with wood? Huh? 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 Uh, by the way, super chat. Super chat. Here we go. Here we've got. Uh, here we go. We've got uh, Thomas Burdett. Why not buy Raymond Real Rado and Seventh Friday? Ooh, that's nasty. <laughs> that's that's what, that, deserves, that deserves caning. Yes, rape you. I know. Hung Sweet Sweet Key, Min Finance Minister of Singapore. I will tell him to a fat horned one with girly patex will be in town spinning everywhere. <laughs> Cane time. <laughs> and Yankee Doodle, oh Archie, God. Rado or Mido. Ooh, I is, think this, is this guy friends with Tanzeal? I mean, <laughs> he's coming yeah. at you. He's coming Guys, I'm you. wrapping up the show. I want to thank you for coming. And until next, well, until Friday night live, we'll be doing it, guys. See you later, and thank you for coming on.